Hey! Today I am making French lavender soap with an alkanet root infusion. So, my alkanet root infusion has been infusing in here, as you can see it's a nice deep red, for over 24 hours. I started this one off yesterday, so I need to strain this off in a second, but I just wanted to show you. So in, there's all my bits in there. I used 100 grams and I have a feeling I need to use more next time. Let's just ignore the fact that it looks like a bird set up home in my hair today. Okay, so I think, yeah, I needed to use a little more, but I just bought a bit to experiment with, but I do think that after reading this blog post, I'll show you this blog post in a second, I think I should have had more. I'm only making two loaves, but Mm, judging by this colour, I mean it's got a lovely deep shade of red, but I do think that I probably should have had a bit more, but we shall see how it turns out and hopefully it's not going to go like a horrible grey. If it does, it does. But this is um, a blog post on the Loving Soap and by a lovely lady called Jo. I don't really know how you say her last name, but she's in a... She's probably in Saponification Nation. She's in most of the soap making groups and she's in the Makers Collab group, which is very a very large one now with um, Zahida Maps in there and all the big names are in that one. And this girl, Jo, I think you said Hasla or Has... It's spelled... <laughs> Sorry, Jo, if you ever watched this video. It's spelled H-A-S-L-A-U-E-R. And I'll show you if it'll pick it up. Hopefully, there you go. Okay, so that's her name. So this is the lovely lady that's done this blog post. And she's done, like posted a picture. Um, so I'm looking about the fourth one along from the left. Let's wait till this picks it up. There you go. Fourth one along from the left is the shade that I'm hoping for but I'm not sure if I am actually going to achieve it, but we shall see. Um, but yeah, she did mention that you would need, hang on, let me go down. She said, she has an ebook for doing this. Uh, she suggest, suggests, I have another gin. <laughs> she suggests using 30 grams approximately plant powder to 15 ounces of oil or 425 grams of oil. Now in here, I've got the cut root. So mine isn't actually powder. I didn't powder this down because the grinder that I've got doesn't get things to a powder. So I thought I'll just infuse the root and then I'll just strain this out. But so I've got 100 grams for what's in here, 1200 grams of oils so I'm not sure if this is going to work because this is just in my liquid oils and then I've got my solid oils to add to this so I'm guessing it's probably going to be a weak solution but we shall see in the making what happens it'll probably go a nice shade of purple when I make this soap but it's after the cure is obviously what we're looking for but I'm going to do my best okay so I'm using French lavender essential oil from Mystic Moments here in the UK and this one, it's a lot sweeter than a, God, it's raining. It's a lot sweeter than a English lavender, but not quite as nice and subtle and sweet as a Bulgarian lavender, which I need to get some more of. And I've just found a new supplier via Instagram. So, somebody's gonna ask me who that supplier is. So I'm gonna find it for you now. They are called Balkan Lavender. And they're on Instagram. I'm just going to show you them because you somebody will ask. Okay, so there you go. Little plug for Bulk and Lavender. They are offering. Sorry about this, but yeah, they're offering for a kilo. This is a really good price. If you're in the UK or the EU, then they are offering at 60 euros per kilo. That is cheap. That is so cheap. I think I paid about 50 quid for 500 mils of French. So a kilo, so double. Is, yeah, it's a really, really good price. So Balkan Lavender, they're the ones that are uh, shipping out their Bulgarian lavender. I haven't ever had it before, but they look legit and I'm going to give it a go. So they've asked me to get in touch and 
get a shipping quote and that kind of thing. So I shall be buying Bulgarian lavender soon and I will show you when that comes in. So I'm going to just go and see if my oils are ready and cooled and then we'll strain this off and then we'll get to making this. Okay, that's in there nicely. So it does look kind of, yeah, kind of pale. It's not, look, you can see my spatula through that quite easily. So we'll just have to hope for the best really and see how we do. This is still a bit hot. So I'm just gonna let this cool down a bit longer and then I will start soaping and see what we get. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, I'm going to start then. So I'm soaping at room temperature or maybe just a little bit lower. And room temperature is 20 Celsius or 68 Fahrenheit. That's pretty much what I always soap at, sometimes a little lower. Okay. So let's get the lie pulled in. This is going to come right to the top because I'm using a... Uh, smallish bucket but we should be okay let's see what this does and let's blend to a light trace and then i'll add my oil Well, I was not expecting it to go that purple. That's amazing. Imagine if it stayed that colour. I know it's not going to, it's bound to fade, but it would be nice if it did. But I'm just going to um, put in my oils and then continue stick burning a bit more. Wow, the sure smells nice. It's quite interesting to watch it go from red to purple immediately with that lie. Can't believe I've never done this before, you know. I've got like used lots of other natural colorants, but I'm no normally like using clays and I started off years ago using oxides, but um, yeah, I also use the spirulina and things like that, and, you know, petals for color, but yeah, I've never tried this before. I would hazard a guess that that definitely needs to be more. So next time, I think I'll just keep going and then double it every time. So that was just 100 grams. And this is going to make two loaves of 1900 grams. So it's going to make about four kilos, just under four kilos of soap. So yeah, I think I might need a bit more next time, but trial and error. It's always interesting to see what happens and obviously with recipes as well it might depend on what you use, what oils are your in your base. If you use an extra virgin olive oil then um, you've got green to contend with as well so that could make a difference. Okay, ready to pour it now. Carefully. and then I'll be back in a second to texture. 
Okie dokie, I'm going to use my spatula <laughs> to just texture the tops of these and I'm going to bring it in from the left and in from the right and then we're going to have some lavender flowers of course in the middle. I'm really blue, which is making me think it might go really grey. <laughs> if it does, it does, doesn't it? What can we do but make it better the next time? So just remember, all trial and error. But if you have any hints or tips, leave your comment below and I can read through. And I thank you for the same. Usually when I try something new, and I don't want to tempt fate, but sometimes when I try it, well, actually, most times when I try something new, it usually goes wrong and then I have to go through a learning phase <laughs> on this channel. That's normally what happens, and I get this slew of comments where I've gone wrong. So, um, yeah, you can let me know your comments below and we shall see how I do next time. But hopefully this might, you know, might get some level of the depth of colour that I was after. But anyway, we'll just, we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah. Little lavender flowers then. These are local lavender flowers from Cotswold Lavender. It's a big lavender farm about five miles away from where I live. And in the summer, you can smell it. And then when you go up there onto the hills, it's unreal. On a really nice warm evening is the best time to go. And you just get this amazing smell you'll know if you live near a lavender farm yourselves you'll know that scent but it's just there's something so special and we have lots of sheep up there and uh, the combination of the smell of sheep and the smell of lavender to me anyway is like heaven on earth they smell like warm sheep wool <laughs> And lavender flowers it's like a sweet hay just a, it's just beautiful it's one of my favorite smells in the world and it's so peaceful up there so I do like to go up there in the evenings in the summertime actually this year I just have to go up with a flask of tea I'm just going to sit and breathe it in nice way to unwind do a little meditation <laughs> overkill so just, just enough so some of those are going to fall off when I cut this tomorrow so there is my French lavender soap with natural alkanet root for colour so yeah leave your comments below if you've done this successfully and let me know how much you use if you haven't then follow that blog post that I showed you earlier because that's well worth having a look at which is what it's just the only thing that's made me think I haven't got enough of this stuff but my results might be different, who knows? Little bits off the ends there. And off the ends there. Okay. That'll be that one. Okay, now I will see you to cut it tomorrow. Ta-ta. Hello, I'm back to cut. So as you can see, it's got this pale blue look to it at the moment, but up close, I think we can see some purple hidden inside. So I'm hoping that it will be okay. So, so bear with me while those lavender flowers fall off the top, as they always do. Hmm. So it might just be this weird. Uh, I 
don't know. Just on the outside, and we've got to get inside, so there's nothing to gauge it by yet. And then, of course, after the cure will be the true colour. So I have no idea what this is going to do, but there's definitely some purpley tinge to it. But not as dark as I would have liked. I could always mix it with a clay or something. That might work. Just um, let me just trim. Hold on. I just like to trim off these edges because it just makes the bars neater. now rather than each individual bar because it takes a long time otherwise so just get that off there but oh, smells so good really lovely sweet French lavender I really love that smell okay so moment of truth I did change my wire the other day, so these are now that 22 gauge wire that I bought. I've replaced these wires with this, so it should be fine. And it is. It's so much stronger. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be like a purplish grey then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're definitely going to need to dry this again, but interesting at the moment but it looks like there is a tinge of purple if you look around the very outside I don't mean this bluish color there's another color at the very top I don't know if you're going to be able to pick this up but there's definitely purple coming in there but how purple it will be we shall have to wait and see but I'll keep updating on my Instagram I think so that you can check that out so Follow my Instagram, links are all below to all my social media and I'll um, keep an update on this and just see how it does over the next four weeks or so. I mean in a couple of weeks we should have the, the definite colour but yeah, that uh, blog post, definitely correct. I'm just going to get some more so that next time I make it I mean some more alkanet roots so next time I make it I will double up or triple up on the amount that I infused so that we can see if it's possible to get that nice purple that I'm looking for because this ain't it but it's not disappointing it's not too bad and it's still nice to have it all natural and not synthetic colour. interesting isn't it seeing how things work out but yeah it's definitely like a purplish colour there strange isn't it strange but I'm happy it smells lovely and I do if it keeps that pale blue around it that actually might be quite pretty too but we'll see the air's got to get all around these bars while they cure so yeah I will keep updating on my Instagram and uh, maybe do like a weekly post to see how it goes. And um, yeah, we'll go from there, I think. Surprising how blue it went to start with though. Just move this. Okay, so I've got another bar, another loaf to cut now. And then I'm cutting Inches Lane, which I made yesterday as well. I've got a big batch of that to cut, so I'll show you, hold on show you inches lane before I go. I did post on Instagram yesterday the picture of it but um, I'll show you because I haven't done a making video because I've already done one for this but here is my inches lane soap. Just lift it so you can see the peaks like waves. 
So I'm going to chop this one in a second. After I finish doing, wait, that's heavy. After I finish doing the lavender. So there we go. My French lavender soap made with Alconet root infusion. Quite happy, but we'll see how this goes. So follow my Instagram. And again, like I said before, recipes down below if you want to go and purchase that from my Etsy. Lots and lots and lots of you already have. So thank you so, so much for the support. And don't forget to click subscribe, like this video if you liked it, and I will see you next time. Ta-ta.